Hello, what's up, guys? This is me, Dio Jagan, and today I will be showing you how to lock your any partition or any storage device with the help of Vera Tool. So, all you just gotta do is download Vera Tool. I will give you the link in description. So, just start the Vera Tool and attach any external device or any other part this partition you want to lock wait a second i'm just i'm using a 3. Point, 3. Point something gb usb you can check it so so now on this i will select any drive let's suppose it's not necessary then i will use select device over here and select the removable disk to 3.8 gb okay then you just gotta select this and if you want to lock or encrypt your and any other disk drive you can just select that and select okay but for me i'm going to select this 3.8 and then select okay now i have to i will click this create volume option and this will ask it's about if i want to create an encrypted file container encrypt a non system partition encrypt the system partition or entire system drive no uh, i think i will go with uh, i have to i will go th with this one encrypt a non system partition drive because it's an external drive and then i will just, just simply select no option and it will ask me uh, about this and you just got to press yes and it would ask me about standard veracrypt and hidden veracrypt volume i will go with the standard select next and this over here this asks me about this and we can we just uh, you know you we, i have to select this and just simply it's ask about it it's asking about this partition just simply press this and just go to next and if you want to you uh, encrypt your or lock your any other device just like my this one drive I, I just simply have to press this and select ok but right now I'm going to select this 3.7 one for you all now just I have to simply press this next button and encrypt create encrypted volume and format it yes I will I will do this because I have no uh, important data there so I will just simply select this one and select next option now, now it will ask me about what type of encryption method I would I have I, sh I would be using I will simply use the AES because yes AES is a good encryption uh, method no? so uh, this is the hash algorithm I will be using this SHA512 and just simply select next option now it it is asking me about how much size i have i have to use i will select it it is uh, locked over here but for the larger drives it gives us access and we can change it and then simply you have to press next and now you have to type any password i am going to use a simple password because as you know it is just for a demo So I am using this password. Oh, okay. I am going to just use it this way. Mm. And uh, the password sometimes can be get brute forced. Like passwords like this cannot be. It can be guessed easily, but you should keep a good password. Okay. So just simply select next just it's saying the same thing choose the password containing of 20 or more characters yes okay now simply this is a random pool from where hashes are generated and it is now in using my mouse movements for higher encryption that means the files will be more secure and more much difficult to decrypt so this is just to you know
no simply i have to select this format button and it asks me are you sure you want to proceed with this format button i just simply have to select yes there is any file stored in this area it is asking me so how to delete everything then i'm going to select yes So as you can see it is encrypting my drive it will be encrypting every sector of my drive so basically this is the last step and it will be taking time over here but after this it simply says to finish or it says to finish or to start over again and you have to just then cancel it cross it and simply all your partition is done and you can just then use the device and right now i'm going to abort it because i don't need it yes so so when you have finally done it you can just select any drive where you want to mount it and then select device like it was this device on my over here and then select ok and then you just got a select mount and you have to press the same password enter the same password that you have used to encrypt and just select ok and your file will, file will appear over here and this is how you will do the encryption so if this helped you don't forget to like the video share and subscribe thank you bye